Cougs uh, had a win this past weekend, 3-0 against Idaho. Look forward to starting Pac-12 play here this Friday night against Utah. Uh, just talk a little bit about that uh, the first three games of the season, the non-conference, and what it what it means and how it leads into this uh, Pac-12 start against Utah. Well, it means a lot. I mean, you get three different styles, three different teams. One game we're tied, one game we're trailing, you know, one game we're ahead the whole way and get a shutout. So I felt like we saw a lot of different – Scenarios that could take place in the Pac-12, so we're excited about that. Um, we're relatively healthy for the most part, and uh, again, we got an excited group ready to get right back at it in the Pac-12 on Friday. Did uh, anything surprise you in these first three games from the team? Did any anyone stand out that you weren't you weren't prepared to for what they were going to do, or or any any shockers out there? No, I mean we're young. I like the way the young young team has responded, and uh, obviously the veterans that are back, they're really doing their job in the back line, goalkeeping it up front. So. Uh, on a whole, we're, we're happy. We're cautiously happy. You know, this, we're getting into the beast now. It's just what soccer's about in this conference, Pac-12, and uh, so you can be the survival at the end. How uh, how good is the Pac-12 this year? I know Pac-12 is is always arguably the best conference in, in the country. How how good do you think it is this year uh, with, with that that layoff in in the fall and now playing in the spring? I think we're I think it's a really great conference as always. Um, I think it's. You got a couple teams at the top that look really talented out there, and then you, but you got a group from one through twelve that's I think pretty consistent. So I don't see a big separation, but I do see a couple giants at the top too that you know everybody will get a shout out to them down the road. But uh, I mean it's 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 a healthy, great, competitive conference as always. Uh, last season uh, against Utah was a four-one win here at uh, Lower Soccer Field. Different different team, of course. Different surface playing in the bubble. Um, what what type of game do you expect in in this this game against Utah? What kind of style do they play? That kind of thing. It's always a good game. Utah's a well, well coached by Rich. They're going to be possession. They're going to move the ball around. Um, they'll have some tactical schemes they like to do, and uh, we'll be prepared for that. But uh, every game is a game here, and now you're inside, which is different. Um, different players. I mean, they have a completely new team. We're out with a lot of great players too. So it's two teams that really don't know a lot about each other because again. Uh, they have one or two kids back from last year. We got more than that, but uh, you know, different year. We've been off for a while, so you know it's going to be a game as always. Uh, a little bit different than in years past. You're uh, actually playing them twice on the weekend. Uh, same game doesn't count in the standings. What? Uh, how do you prepare for for playing a team twice in that that second game after after you just played them and and threw everything at at each other? Yeah, it's going to be it's unique, it's different. It's going to be tough. I mean, beat the same team twice or rebound, whatever happens in the first game, that's the game that counts for Pac-12 standing. So I think from a scouting standpoint, there's probably won't be a lot of changes. You know, it's not like we're playing Utah and then getting ready for Colorado quickly 24 hours later. So, but on the flip side, you play the same team once and you got to do it again. That could be tough. So all we're worried about right now is Friday night. We'll take a look at Friday and then get ready for Sunday and uh, hope we give our best effort. We're both here. Uh, individually, uh, Mickey, Name player of the week, defensive got got the goal and the shutout. Um, how how has she been in this this third year? What do, what have you seen out of her? She's always been talented and one of the best defenders in the in the conference, the country. But now as a junior and a captain, what what do you see out of her? A very mature young lady. Uh, Mick is one of the kids that plays loose. She is loose. Um, her and I can joke around from time to time as a captain and head coach. And uh, but when that light when that green light goes and the whistle blows and we're ready to play under the lights. Mick is a gamer, so uh, she does her job. I'm really impressed how she's leading the younger right now. Um, she's a super competitive young lady, but game time, boy, she's a gamer, and that's what we're excited about with Mick and how she continues to grow in that aspect. Um, and I know we talked about it after the game, but uh, what what has Margie been bringing to the to the field? That I mean, you you, you knew how good she was coming in, but but getting an, an assist, two goals in three games. Uh, what does that meant to you? It's great. I mean, to see a young young person develop that quickly and get some, because as a forward, you know, as a young player, you know, if you don't start seeing results from her and the ball and playing time number two assists and goals, then you wonder which way the, the player is going to go. So she's off on a fast track. She's getting minutes. She has started in the game. She scored goals. She has an assist. So that's right for her. She should be happy. She should be smiling every day as she is. And she actually was one of our better players today in practice. I mean, she looked fresh. Um, it's scary how athletic this kid is and what she's going to do down the road. And uh, yeah, I mean, but we got baby steps with all these young kids. We don't want to put them out there. They're not the savior of the team. And we're actually not asked to be the hero either. We're trying to guide them along and they're going to get their opportunity and she'll do her job. Well, and you, you talked about, you have a ton of freshmen getting, getting good minutes to go along with all of course, your veterans that have gone through the ringer for three years, your seniors, probably the most decorated senior class 
what uh, what have those freshmen been bringing in these first few weeks that might have surprised you a little bit? Positive attitude, consistent work rate. I mean, you can't just jump into a team, let alone a team that's been off due to a pandemic, a team that's come off a historic run. So it's a little bit of pressure on them too. So they fit in well. They're well respected. They treat their players right. Um, they work hard every day. So what more can you ask for? Do you think that time off actually helped the team refocus in and and not take the the college cup as not not rest on their laurels coming in, or do you think it it might have stalled the the momentum a little bit, or or neither? Yeah, I, I don't know. I just know that getting those first couple wins, that first win against Seattle was huge. You didn't want to come out after the final four and lose a game, so that was big. We'll see where this goes in the Pac-12 play. Um, but I can tell you everyone's gunning for us, that's for sure. I mean, we haven't done anything here yet. I mean, yeah, we had a great run, but to me, we haven't won anything. So, but everyone has turned it up against us and our girls know that. So it'll be determined how that pans out, but I am happy on how they responded so far. Uh, last week, you talked about success being on set pieces. You got the goal, the, actually the game winner came off the, the corner. Um, going into this game, if you if you looked at the stat sheet again, what, what are you looking for to, to say we were successful? I think we got to be better on the ball again. I think uh, we're dangerous up top, up, up top. We got a bunch of options. And again, on set pieces, you're right. We, we got some uh, players that can get in, the, in positions to score goals. We got great service from our wide players off the corner kicks and set balls, set pieces, excuse me. And uh, we got size and strength and power in there. So it's coming. We challenged them last week and that's going to continue because games are won or lost a lot of time by set pieces here.